start with you. Hello, everyone, a very, very warm welcome to our video on Tutorials Point. Uh, today, we are going to talk about grooming, makeover and personal hygiene. Uh, when we talk about this entire gamut of this space of grooming, hygiene and, personal, uh, and makeover, uh, this is one of the most important point in soft skills. Now, the reason why I say it's the most important point in soft skills is because you have to be well groomed. You might have all the important leadership skills, you may have lovely time management skills, but if you do not have basic grooming and hygiene, your impression really, really goes down the drain. So this is a very important topic and I would really love if all of you can pay a lot of attention to this. Let's get started. So what do we cover in the agenda today? Our objective of the session is personal hygiene overview. We will talk about how to take care of our hair, skin, teeth and feet. We will talk about grooming tips for men and for women. How to create a powerful first impression because first impression is the last impression. We will also talk about how do we dress for success and what is the kind of clothing and attire you should wear. And last but not the least, we are going to talk about makeover magic. So all you lovely ladies out here, we will really enjoy the session on makeover magic. We are going to talk about a lot of makeup, hairstyles, etc. for women. Sure. So let's get started. Have you ever wondered what is personal hygiene? I mean, it's something that we spoke about when we were small, our, in our younger days in school, our children, uh, you know, I mean, our teachers used to talk about brushing your teeth two times in a day, having a proper bath two times a day, small, small things. But as we grow up, we come into adulthood, we kind of stop learning or stop really realizing uh, why these are important things. We get so busy in our day-to-day -day life and activities that we forget personal hygiene. Personal hygiene, in one word, means that we have to take care of our internal body. Now, when, we, when I talk about internal body, I need to say that we need to take care of our skin, our hands, our nails, our feet, because I might wear the best of clothes. I might wear very nice shirt, trouser, makeup, good hair style and everything. But if I do not take care of my internal hygiene, everything else really makes no sense. So we're going to talk about how to take care of our personal hygiene now. We will start talking about hair, skin, teeth, hands and feet. We will talk about each of these topics in a lot of detail now. Let's talk about hair care. Now hair is one of the most important part of our body and we need to take care, we need to know how to take care of our hair in a very, very nice manner. When we talk about hair care, we talk about how do you shampoo and condition your hair. This is one of the most important things. I would really like you to understand that please do not use soaps on hair. Soap really dries up your hair and it makes it look very, very uh, lack of shine and etc. So the most important thing is using a good shampoo, something which suits your hairstyle. Uh, it's important to understand that we need to use shampoo not on our hair but on our scalp. And when we are using a shampoo, after about few minutes, we need to use a conditioner to make sure that our hair looks nice and lustrous. We should not scrub too hard or rub too hard our hair because our scalp is very, very sensitive. So we need to make sure that we need to have a lot of care and gentleness while we are using a shampoo. If we use excess amount of harshness on our scalp, we might damage our hair. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, we need to oil our hair regularly. Now when I say oil our hair, we need to oil our scalp, not really our hair, but our scalp, at least once in a day. Sorry, what am I saying? Once in a week. Um, removing excess, uh, using our oil is very nourishing for our hair because it removes all the extra dirt, dust, etc. from our hair. One of the important myths for oiling is that you should not keep our oil throughout the night. Important is to use oil on our hair just 30 to 40 minutes before we actually wash our hair. Um, our old grandmothers and you know grannies used to say oil your hair and keep it throughout the night but that's actually not good to do it. We should also use good combs and good hairbrushes never ever 
ever shared your hairbrushes and combs with anybody, it's not hygienic to do so. Well, we will next talk about skin and body care. Now, skin is the most important part or organ of our body and if we do not take care of our skin, it really does not feel good because it is the most important thing of us. We have to have a bath two times in a day. Let's not avoid that once in the morning, once at night before retiring to bed. Using a good, shamp uh, sorry, a good shower gel is very, very essential. Never share soaps, just as we spoke about not sharing hairbrushes and combs. We should not even share soaps with other people. Using a deodorant and perfume is very, very important. It takes care of our body odor. We do a lot of activities throughout our day wherein our body tends to smell a little bit. We need to make sure that we use a good deodorant or a perfume which will take care or rather get rid of our body odor. We don't want people running away from us, right? We should avoid washing our skin too often because skin gets irritated and dried out. Do not keep washing your skin, your hair every now and then. It's important to just wash it few times, not overdo it because it does kind of tend to get a little uh, you know, irritated and drying out. Our skin is the most important organ and we should not use cheap products on our skin. Let's be very, very sure that we use only good products which are well known in the market so as to avoid using any cheap products. We should not, whenever we are stepping out into the sun, we should make sure that we are using a good sunscreen on our face. Our sunscreen protects our skin from damage. Ultraviolet rays from the skin, uh, from the sun are very, very harsh and when they come on our skin, our skin tends to look tanned and burnt out. For an Indian climate, an SPF of 15 to 20 is more than enough. So always use good SPF whenever you're moving out into the sun. We are next going to talk about our oral hygiene. Well, talking about our oral hygiene, it's very important to brush our teeth two times in a day. Once in the morning, once before retiring to bed at night. It's good, in fact, if you can also brush your teeth in the daytime, which is not always possible because you might be working in the office and it's, you can't really brush your teeth in the office, can you? But it's good to carry a small mouthwash or gargle whenever you're uh, taking care of your oral hygiene. Can we stop here? Because we've done, I think, quite a bit of slides. Oh, I, I, 